And now, the general weather around Alaska. Well, breakups occurring uh, on the Canadian side of the Porcupine River there, and uh, along with some pretty good snow melt from a snowier than normal season up through here, there's a flood watch out for the uh, Porcupine River at Fort Yukon through Wednesday for possible uh, flooding there, depending on how high the water levels get. There's also a flood watch out for, it looks like, Circle there on the Yukon River. Otherwise, down here to the southwest, the lower end of the Yukon River, there's a flood watch out for Mountain Village all the way out to the Yukon Delta Coast uh, for possible ice jam flooding. And that's out through Friday. Again, Mountain Village there all the way out to the coast. And looking at satellite imagery today, a couple of uh, systems affecting the area. We have a weakening low pressure area moving across the southeast coast here with uh, rain starting to become a little more showery and intermittent throughout the afternoon. And behind that system, higher pressure with fair amount of sunshine here from south central Alaska, Kenai Peninsula areas, right on up into the interior, allowing temperatures to rise into the 60s, in some cases lower 70s in a few locations there. Otherwise, uh, chillier up along the Arctic coast with a few more clouds and then back out to the west. A lot of storminess and clouds out here over the Bering Sea with uh, moisture uh, band right through here, spreading rain up along the southwest coast. And another band here bringing some light rain into the Alaska Peninsula, the main low center here west of the Pribloffs. And that's where the heaviest rain occurred. It was at St. Paul and St. George, uh, picking about a third of an inch of precipitation in the 12 hour period, period ending at 3 p.m. this afternoon. Areas of rain along the Aleutians and rolling this through again. You can see that cloud area pushing northeastward here at a pretty good clip rolling over into Kodiak Island here by this afternoon or during the afternoon hours there and to a slower extent up here to the north. And on the chart, uh, warm front with that uh, band of clouds pushing some rain up towards southwest Kodiak Island. And ahead of the cold front here, winds gusting anywhere from 52 miles an hour or so around Cold Bay to about 40 miles an hour at Port Hyden. Cape Newenham, one of the no normally windier areas in the southwest coast at 43 miles an hour. Rain about making landfall here currently along the southwest coast. Uh, and into Bristol Bay, up to Nunavak Island, and again the rain over the Pribloffs, and becoming showery for the eastern Aleutians. Breezy with showers out over the remainder of the Aleutian chain, especially along this trough axis coming into Adak and Athka. Otherwise, a partly mostly sunny day over interior Alaska with some isolated to scattered afternoon showers over the mountainous terrain here at the eastern interior. A little bit back up to the northwest there, and this weakening low center, keeping it uh, damp and unsettled across the southeast coast. And for tonight, that system just um, weakens and moves out of the picture, leaving some lingering isolated showers. Uh, mostly ended after midnight toward morning with some clearing here for the panhandle. Central eastern interior, mostly clear, dry, light winds, about the same up here to the north as rain continues to push northeastward here into southern Cook Inlet after midnight, periods of rain for Kodiak Island, gusty winds into Bristol Bay, Alaska Peninsula, rain spreading over much of the southwest interior and at least into the southern Kuskokwim Valley during the night tonight, as well as northward up to St. Lawrence Island and uh, toward the Bering Strait coast. Showers and gusty winds for the Pribilofs, showers and gusty winds for the central Aleutians. Then for tomorrow, that low center uh, pulling up to the northeast here, not too much, kind of drifting east-northeast a little bit there. And the front uh, pushing inland here, uh, pretty good gradient in advance of the front, so look for a possible wind gust 45 miles an hour or so along the Anchorage hillside and the uh, other mountainous terrain of South Central Alaska with periods of rain tomorrow across, uh, or pushing in across Prince William Sound to about uh, Cape St. Elias or so and extending back to the front and then becoming more showery for Kodiak Island. Showers here over the southwest interior and with the main low center, a more general area of rain here over the Pribilof Islands uh, southwest coast down to the Alaska Peninsula area. Mostly sunny for the southeast coast with light winds. Continued dry for the eastern Copper River Basin, although winds on the increase there along the Copper River out of the south could see gusts 30, 35 miles an hour in the afternoon. 
And then for Wednesday, that low center kind of splits in two here, once moving all the way eastward there toward uh, Eagle. And the other one here down just south of Prince William Sound with the front up along the North Gulf Coast and extending southeastward there, rain pushes in toward the uh, coastal areas of the Panhandle and uh, extends back with showers and rain, south central Alaska, a trough here keeping a widespread area of light rain and showers here from the Yukon Flats area, right on down across the Cuscomb Valley into Cook Inlet in the northeast Bristol Bay, ending out toward the coastline, stays dry from the north slope in the Arctic coast, as well as the Brooks Range. Higher pressure ahead of the next system that's pushing eastward with more uh, possible gale force winds, possible gale force winds here moving into the central Aleutian areas. And for the lows tonight, for the Aleutians in the 30s, all the way up to St. Lawrence Island, 25 to 30 for the lows here for the uh, North Slope in the Arctic Coast. In the mid 40s here or so for the central interior. Otherwise, upper 30s to uh, upper 30s and 40s for the remainder of southern Alaska and the Panhandle. Highs for tomorrow again, pretty nice here with some sunshine. Upper 60s, to lower 70s there from Fort Yukon down to the Fairbanks area over toward Eagle and uh, upper 60s all the way down to the Alaska range, but with the uh, gusty winds and rain coming in, highs struggling to get past 50 here south of the Alaska range, although uh, southerly winds might help push it up towards 60 for the Copper River Basin, but still be a lot of cloud cover there. 50s to near 60 for the Panhandle. And for the Wednesday morning outlook, uh, lows, no big surprise, 30s and 40s over much of Alaska, 20s north of the Brooks Range there to the Arctic coast. And for the uh, highs in the afternoon, cooler up here over the eastern interior, still pushing 70 there around the Yukon Flats and over toward Eagle, but generally upper 50s to mid 60s for the uh, mid and upper Tanah Valley area, cooling back into the 30s out toward the Bering Sea. 40s for the Aleutians, Alaska Peninsula, 48 for Kodiak, upper 40s to near 50 south central Alaska, mid 50s for the Copper River Basin, and upper 50s to maybe lower 60s, maybe mid 60s in some areas there for the southeast coast.